the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 30, Exodus 32 to 34. Forgiveness, hope among despair. Risking his life, Moses interceded for the people who were unable to wait for him and committed the sin of making a gold calf. First point, whilst the design of the tabernacle was being given on top of Mount Sinai, and the mountains, the Israelites were making the golden calf. After God established a kingdom of priests with the Israelites, he commanded Moses to climb Mount Sinai for 40 days in order to give him the design of the tabernacle and also the two stone tablets recording the Ten Commandments. This was God's holy plan. But during the 40 days, the Israelites waiting beneath the mountains lost patience. They may have thought that Moses had died. So they asked Aaron to build them an idol that they could see. To this, Aaron told the people to bring him gold pieces so that he could carve out a golden calf. He told them that it was the God that led them out of Egypt and together they made an altar. This was indeed a most unfortunate and regretful sin. God told Moses to go down because your people whom you have brought out of Egypt have become corrupt. Second point, Moses saw this despair hoped for God's forgiveness. To the Israelites who made a golden calf, God called them stiff-necked people. God furthermore told Moses that he would destroy them and make a great nation with Moses alone. But Moses, who did not know what exactly was going on, pleaded with God and prayed for their forgiveness. Moses begged God to turn from his anger. Moses made two appeals to God. The first was that the Egyptians would misunderstand God. In other words, Moses worried that the Egyptians would mock God. Moses pleaded to God to consider his dream to make a kingdom of priests and to bless all nations through them. The second appeal was reminding God of his promise to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Moses truly prayed with the heart of God. Moses knew that deep down, God loved the Israel nation and in actual fact, he wanted to save them. Third point, due to the golden calf instance, 3,000 people were put to death. When Moses saw the Israel nation dancing and worshiping to the golden calf, he threw the two stone tablets with the Ten Commandments on the floor. He furthermore knocked down the calf, melted it, and made the nation drink it. Moses asked Aaron about this situation, and then he said, Whoever is for the Lord, come to me. To this, the tribe of Levi came out. On this day, 3,000 people were put to death. Fourth point, God calls Moses to the mountains for another 40 days. Once the gold calf instant was solved, God called for Moses the second time up the mountain. Moses kneeled down for the second time on behalf of the Israel people. Oh, what a great sin these people have committed. They have made themselves gods of gold. But now, please forgive their sin, but if not, then brought me out of the book you have written. In Revelation, it says, anyone whose name was not found written in the book of life was thrown into the lake of fire. 
Moses pleaded with God again to save the people. We can really see here why God chose Moses as the leader. God listens to Moses' prayer and commands him to come up to the mountains for another 40 days. During this second round of 40 days, Moses once again fasted and concentrated wholeheartedly on doing God's work. Fifth point, God is forgiving, giving, and is slow to anger. When Moses goes up to the mountain for the second time with the two curved out stone tablets, God tells Moses who he is. God tells him that he is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He also tells Moses that he is the God that led the people out of Egypt. God furthermore tells Moses that he is forgiving, giving, and is slow to anger. I am so excited that you have in your hands now and on your phones, the Tong Doc Bible app. And let me tell you why. Very few people, just a handful of people in the world understand the way Dr. Zhou does, the way that this is one story from Genesis to Revelation, one story. And what does it mean for us to daily live that story as our life story? And he has found a way to do this. We need daily marinating of our mind and the soaking of our spirit in, in the Word of God. And that's why a, a, a Tom Doc Bible is so important. The scriptures, the story, Genesis to Revelation, is the daily mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit of God into humans to make us truly who God made us to be. And that's why this app is so important. This app shows you how to do mouth, that God, enables God to do mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation on you every day of your life, 365 days a year. I'm so glad you have it. You will feel the healing that comes from mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit on you as you use this app.